The 49ers will be the busiest team coming up next. Yet to be selected, Patrick Willis. Much written about and talked about linebacker from Mississippi. He may go next. Adam Carricker, defensive end, you know exactly what you're going to get when you pick him, the defensive end from Nebraska. Some of the names we'll be hearing, waiting for the call. It's back here in New York, the San Francisco 49ers are on the clock. They are among a few teams that have 10 picks. They have two-thirds, four-fourths, in addition to their one and two. So top-heavy draft coming up for them. And the San Francisco 49ers, for the first time in a while, have a lot to be eager about. And Alex Smith had a big year, although he lost Norv Turner, who is now the head coach at, uh, at the San Diego Chargers. Now, they obviously have to shore up their defense. Mike Nolan is the defensive coach. But including in that 7-9 record is a sweep of the division champ Seattle Seahawks. They signed Nate Clements to big money. He's a big-time corner. Michael Lewis, the big hitter, former strong safety of the Philadelphia Eagles. They have Frank Gore <coughs> as pounding a running back as you can have. And so Vernon Davis hurt some. We've yet to see what he can do on offense. And another number one last year, Manny Lawson, looked like he could be a player on the Comet linebacker. 49ers have a chance in this division to move. And I think they move. Well, I mean, they spent big money for a corner, but my goodness, they here's defensive players there, Steve. There's no question about it. The biggest issue the 49ers have as an organization is their stadium. And to get a stadium, I think they want a winner, and they want to win now. Mike Nolan is very, very methodical. He's taking the full 15 minutes, but I think you can write down Patrick Willis just mm -hmm. in, in blood right now because I think Mike Nolan loved Patrick Willis at the Senior Bowl. I think he's a great addition for a great spot here for the team. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out, but I think you can write down Patrick Willis. All right, the pick is in the 49ers. As we said, plenty of picks in the top four rounds. Here's their first round selection. With the 11th pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Patrick Willis, linebacker, Mississippi. Well, Patrick I mean, Willis makes many a tackle. They, they, they're putting together, you look at the draft the last three or four years, the Frank Gores and the Alex Smiths, you, you, these are quality people too. They're going down and finding great character guys who are very talented and putting them together. Slowly but surely, San Francisco is getting back from what I call a restart. It was like a new, there was so much turnovers, not only just players, but personnel, everything in the year 2000, that this team was actually an expansion team in many ways. And they're doing it very methodically. Give Coach Nolan a lot of credit for continuing to draft so well. Mel, 265 tackles over the last two seasons, the Butkus Award winner. And no question, boom, the productivity, the speed. You see on that particular highlight, you see a guy runs a 4.49 at 6'1 and a half, 240 pounds. Once he ran that 40, eyes were open to say, hey, this guy's just not a productive college linebacker. This guy has skills that are off the charts. Any vertical, 39 inches, great athleticism. You have about 137 tackles this past season, 13 against Arkansas, 15 against Auburn, and 12 against LSU. You watch him here, multi-dimensional, can fill that inside hole and inside lane, deliver that form tackle, and a guy that I think was not, when you really look at him, protected by a great defensive front. This is not Tennessee. This is not Florida. This is not Georgia's defensive line. It's Ole Miss. This guy had to take on guards and centers, yet low to the football. Diagnostic ability, very, very, very good. And I think when you look at Patrick Willis, what he does here, he solidifies an inside linebacker spot in a 3-4. Brandon Moore's done well. You look at Derek Smith coming off the injury list. All of a sudden, the, the inside linebacker spot for this 3-4 team, Mort, is solidified. Well, we kind of just brushed over this, this whole idea that North Norv Turner is no longer their offensive coordinator. He went to the San Diego Chargers as their head coach. I just, I gotta ask Steve, I said, Alex Smith was making progress. To lose a Norv Turner going into your third year, I still think it's the biggest question mark this team has going into the season. I think so, because the question mark will remain about Alex Smith, because Alex Smith will make, not make or break the team, but his continued development is so important to the overall development of the team and to that stadium that we're talking about. There's a lot of issues at play here, and I think he did love Norv Turner, and I think that question mark will be until the beginning of the season, but Alex is a mature kid. He's got a lot of help at running back. When you turn around and you can play action with Frank Gore, you can really make a lot of strides regardless of who's coaching it. All right, so the 49ers have taken the side linebacker, Patrick Willis, and I... Okay. 
I had a feeling New England wouldn't keep two. The Patriots just traded their pick with the 49ers. They still have needs, even though they're, that they are building this the right way. Scott McLuhan, their personnel guy, and Mike Nolan, they're putting this team together piece by piece, and they are a physically tougher team and a mentally tougher team than before uh, they were when Nolan came. And they have you know, 10 picks. They have a lot of picks to play with here, so they can give up one or two to go up and get some. Yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly who it's going to be here. I gotta believe. I gotta believe to jump in front of Baltimore. Baltimore looking at uh, a couple of offensive linemen. This is, might be a spot for you know Joe Staley, offensive tackle, where he's going to go the next couple of picks. This is a chance for uh, the 49ers to jump up and take an offensive lineman that's going to be around for a long time. Well, the 49ers took Patrick Willis way back with the 11th pick uh, earlier in the day. 49ers are interesting. You, you touched on it before, and we know we can elaborate with them on the clock. We'll get the tails of the trade in a minute. No North Turner. Alex Smith made huge strides last year. Do you see him continuing, or are you concerned? I think you have to be concerned when you get that kind of symbiotic relationship that they had going. And I think that's why they wanted North so badly to, to stay, and they couldn't believe it when he ended up in San Diego. They thought that they'd passed all the opportunities that North would have. They started to rest and take a deep breath, and all of a sudden, boom, they lost him. And so I think that was a big shock to them. And they had a great relationship with Alex Smith. And then, and then they've got to kind of continue to pick that up from there. I think the big issue right now is can the 49ers make that next leap? They definitely came from the bottom. They've pushed forward to the, to the next level now. And obviously, the next level is playoffs. Well, here will be the details of the trade. With the 28th pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Joe Staley, offensive tackle, Central Michigan. And then a good couple of young linemen on the team, you know, last year that started to play some key roles. Could you, know, William Harris? This could be a, a signal of yeah, the end. He, stu he struggled, and I think he struggled so badly that at some point they had to kind of address this. They're going to fake Alex. You know, if they're going to increase his productivity, they're going to have to increase it by giving him some protection. Very athletic kid. You talk about a kid who was 215 coming in, now he's 305, 6'5 and a half. His strength is improving. He's 27 reps at the combine. Great feet, athleticism, certainly get down the field into that second level. A guy that can play right or left tackle, you would think, in the NFL. Getting stronger. I think he surprised some people with the fact that, hey, he's not that far away from meeting where you need to be from a strength standpoint. His best football still ahead was even a tight end early on with the Chippewa. So this is a kid is not yet as good as he will be, Mort. It seems like the so called word upside, and they have it uh, with Joe Staley. And he was a sprinter in high school, and I know every line coach, a lot of line coaches who watched his workout or worked him out personally, fell in love with the kid. And Mike Nolan, again, trying to get character guys, and he wants guys who love football, and Joe Staley meets all that, not to mention a pretty good athlete. And so the Niners end up with two picks in the first round. They pick Joe Staley along with Patrick Willis. We're going to go back to San Francisco. We started talking about Jason Hill. Speed and production, an interesting pick for the 49ers, Mel. It is, and they need help at wide receiver. Alex Smith needs weapons in the passing game beyond just Vernon Davis. Obviously, Frank Gore running with the football. You watch him here getting deep. He had a, a lot of touchdown receptions, 32 during his career, second only to Dwayne Jarrett in the Pac-10. Big junior season and the high ankle sprain. We're talked about senior year, not as good as advertised. Getting off press coverage, thought to prove that, but he can run. This kid's a 4-3-7-40 guy. Won a frame at six foot and a half, 205 pounds. Verticals 37 inches. Actually can run a 4-3-2, 4-3-5 on occasion. So speed to burn, big playability. Obviously, the junior year better than the senior year. Plus special teams. And I, I heard, you know, his mother was ill. He spent some time down in the Bay Area where she lived. So he, he got a little bit heavy this year, but that was his priority. Mm -hmm. Hearing nothing but great things about him and a great special teams player. Big pickup for the 49ers, I think. Well, you got to like these names. I'm sorry, Joe. These, these oh, names right. are what they've done thus far. The second round, he goes in the third round. What do you like about his game? What I like about his game is his toughness, his mental toughness. Because at Stanford, he got beaten around the entire season, couldn't stay healthy, didn't have great teammates around him. But good things come to those who wait. He's going to Buffalo. You got J.P. Lossman, Craig Nall. He's going to have a fabulous opportunity to make this football team this year on the roster, the active well, roster. And he will. And then the San Francisco 49ers took Ray McDonald off the farm, defensive end from Florida.